See, it's games like this that go under the radar. And I mean, I don't even think it went under the radar. I can't even say that it did because, I mean, you see, this is Metacritic. That's the score. It's a really good fucking game. But people wonder why JRPGs don't succeed on Xbox. This game is on Xbox. It's on Xbox One. It's on Xbox Series X and S. It's in Game Pass Day One. But not a single reviewer took the time to tell anybody. <laughs> to tell anybody. This game dropped Day One in Game Pass, bro. They could have got some recogni the recognition they deserved, especially from the Xbox Platinum. I mean, there's not guaranteed people are going to play it. But they could have at least reviewed it on Xbox. Told somebody about it. I mean, JRPGs go fucking non-existent on the Xbox platform. And it's partly the gaming industry's fucking fault, bro. They reviewed it on PC. I think they reviewed it on the Switch because, like, JRPGs boom on the Switch. I mean, they only got four reviewers on Switch. They got more reviewers on PC. They got no reviewers on PlayStation. No, like no reviewers on fucking console at all. Not the. I'm like, how? <laughs> how do y'all just skip this fucking game? I mean, it's a good game. I've been playing it in the cloud on Game Pass. I mean, more people would just try the fucking game because it's in Game Pass. But nobody tells nobody. The gaming industry doesn't tell people, bro. Why? Why is that? <laughs> why is that? Like, Game Pass gives indie devs the platform to reach players that would not look a, like a second at their game. And that's how Game Pass succeeds for indie developers. You can say, like, oh, AAA developers don't fuck with Game Pass because they want to sell games. That's fine. But 90% of indie devs don't even get to sell their game because nobody knows their game is out there. Nobody promotes their fucking game. Game Pass puts it on the front page. It's literally on the front page of Xbox. But, like, if all the creators are going to ignore that and not tell nobody that, hey, you can try this game out rent fucking free because most people ignore fucking indie games. 90% of the gaming industry ignores indie games. Fucking reviewers of these games ignore fucking indie games. They don't even review them on every platform. So if your preferred platform has this game on it, how would you know? You see PC reviews like, oh, it's a good PC indie game. Okay, you skip that bitch. But if it's in Game Pass, bro, it's on Xbox. The reviewers for Xbox don't even fucking talk about it. Nobody talks about it online. It's a good fucking game. It's not one of those easy ass walkthrough ass games. It's a JRPG. You have to, you have to try. <laughs> you have to learn to play the game. It's really fucking good, bro. And this turn based is kind of nice. There's not many turn based games that I enjoy, but this was pretty good. I mean, it's a. It's a it's an old ass style of game, but more people like those games, and more people were willing to try those games if they knew those games were out there. And this one is reviewing so fucking well, yet nobody talked about it. And I mean, you can kind of see like the other side of it because like we all know how the reviewers did uh, High on Life disrespected the fuck out of High on Life. It's a really good fucking game. It is fun. Combat is great. It's, it's crazy. A lot of people be like, oh, sometimes the, the dialogue is fucking annoying. Of course it does. That's why they have the slider. <laughs> if you don't want to hear that much, you could turn that shit the fuck down. I enjoy the random ass banter. It's not like I'm playing this game for like eight hours a day. I only get to play it for like an hour or two at a time. Like I enjoy myself a little bit and then I go about my business. I have shit to do. But it's games like this. Like when I see it dropping Game Pass, I try it. I try every fucking indie game that comes to Game Pass because I might end up like getting that shit. And then I look and I'm like, damn, why is it, why is nobody else talking about this game? It's good. Metacritic is fucking good. But still, no long light at all. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to upload a video on this. I've been playing it in the cloud. I, I need to start doing more cloud videos again because the cloud is getting a whole lot fucking better. And it's just, you know, it's just expanding. Just keep going. I could play it in a browser on the cloud. I got my controller and shit for PC. So I could try it there. I don't know. I'll think about it. But let me know what y'all think down below. Y'all should go try this fucking game. It's in Game Pass right now, bro. Chain Echoes. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.